everyone. Welcome to the happy hour, the show that's not an hour and also uh, not, not an hour. Mm. This is the show where I drink beer and talk about things. My name's Nathan Bowman and welcome. I pretty much like to do this relatively unedited. I did say in the last video that's because I don't know how to edit. I learned it, you know, took a took a quick workshopping class. But the idea behind this is that I have a drink or two and I just talk. It's kind of an exercise in public speaking, you know, without the public. And uh, it's in a way to kind of realize your mannerisms and just feel comfortable talking for a while. It's a thing I like to do anyway, but it is interesting to see how much I say things like um or I pause in weird ways like that. First and foremost, I don't know if I said first and foremost before, but maybe the first thing that I'd like to address is the beer that I'm drinking this week beautiful thing. It's the Hedro from Strange Fellows Brewing. It's a wild cherry sour ale. I might have said that wrong. It's a sour cherry wild ale. Okay. I got the words mixed up and totally changed it. But it's tasty and kind of sour and tastes like cherries. So yeah. There you go. It's a limited release. You guys don't care. Uh, what I like to do in this show is kind of have an idea of what I wanted to talk about and then completely digress from there because I'll, my brain will just go on six different ways. So what should be five minutes of me talking, if we're being generous, probably will end up being at least double time common saying uh, to my friends or with my friends is they'd say uh, short story long is and that pretty much sums up me talking it's just it's a journey guys it's you know the final destination is not it's not the end goal it's how we got there that's what you want maybe I don't know it's what I do to justify all this talking I do outside of just tickling my own ego. Anyway. Pause. <laughs> Unpause. So it's not fully unedited. Uh, I will be pausing, but I'm not going to be splicing anything together. I'm just going to pause every now and then if I either really uh, <laughs> lose my train of thought or uh like in a different take i did yeah i do i do multiple takes because you know the first time maybe it just didn't work out all that well or i don't know it i just decided to do a few takes and which one i like which weird rant i prefer more yeah i told you guys the secret to my successful videos that will probably max out it 100 views we'll see we'll see how this goes why am i doing this i don't know never really planned on doing a youtube video anyway back to things i was going to talk about um so part of why i've been doing this is because of uh the lockdown that i'm sure pretty much everyone's had to experience because of covid I'm actually uh, in a pretty lucky situation myself. Uh, I live in Vancouver, Canada, and my province has one of the the lowest cases of it. So we've actually been able to uh, uh, go outside and our restrictions have been relatively limited compared with even other provinces in Canada and especially consider, uh, compared to the US and parts of Europe. What's been really nice is that they're loosening the restrictions even more to they're going to be in phase two now which is starting to allow us to uh, see each other in small groups 
uh, we're able to finally go over to some friend's house starting May 19th, I guess. Uh, the national or the provincial parks are going to be open up. I think they actually kind of declared that some of the, the national parks will be opening up as well. So we'll be able to even experience more of nature, go on more hikes, really get to uh, enjoy the summer as much as we can. Uh, an added bonus is that their restaurants and bars uh, will be slowly opening up with uh, 50 or 50 percent occupancy. It's all case uh, given the case. Some places will be more, some places will be less. As long as proper social distancing goes around, you don't care. I'm just excited about this. So I wanted to talk about how happy I am to uh, live in uh, this province. It's really been it's really been nice, uh, and yeah, kind of kind of makes you forget sometimes. But there's a lot of things out there that we just take for granted, and this has really kind of opened our eyes, or at least opened up my eyes to what I miss. Like yeah, before this, there was days where I'm sure people were going to work all the day, every day, going to the office, they're stressed. They, uh, and then they just dream of spending a day in bed and watching Netflix. But that becomes a reality and becomes the daily. Fuck me. That's, it's tough. It's tough. And I admittedly, for me, myself, it's, uh, I've been trying to stay active and busy as much as possible and outside going for runs working out shameless plug i work out guys gonna be jacked by the end of the summer uh, and then just i've been uh since i haven't been working uh i've been just taking online classes to kind of get better <laughs> uh improve myself as much as i can and i admit that's that's because I I have a lot of luxuries. I have I'm pretty lucky, all things considered. Um, and a lot of people don't have that same thing. This is supposed to be a happy hour. Yeah, this is. I'm I'm sort of happy. How do you know if you're happy? No one knows if they're happy. They only know what they're not happy, and that's because they had something to compare it to. I mean, I guess, I guess it's also the same the other way, where sometimes if you're, if you come out of depression, you didn't even realize that's how you were until afterwards. I know that was the case with me. Man, this is really, really taking a different turn than I expected. I swear this is my first beer, and I'm not... Despite what those two cans in the back look like, uh, this was the is my first actual beer. I'm not drunk and now in a deeply emotional state, which would make for some entertainment. Maybe this is genuinely just how I talk with my train of thought thinking. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I just it's just been really nice i guess to to see people and to just see the do those things that you just don't even think about other days go for a coffee go for beer in the park if you can legally or in our case the cops don't really care right now they've got other things to worry about um talking with someone just being being on a patio enjoying a friend's birthday live and not through zoom it's um yeah it's been pretty good and it's pretty nuts to think that just two weeks ago i was walking along uh, the seawall in vancouver and there is like an anti-lockdown <laughs> protest happening which by the way very confusing messages because uh i had to zoom in on my phone to kind of read them because i wasn't gonna get anywhere near them guaranteed they weren't following any of the lockdown restrictions before probably not big on washing their hands 
definitely weren't big on wearing masks. And just the, the pure mismatch of just different ideologies. Like, I mean, I kind of get anti-vaxxers being there. Uh, they don't really, they think it's all a hoax. The vaccines will, I don't know, control us. 5G, of course. Bill Gates, he has been planning this for a while. And uh, then you have conspiracy theorists who think, again, it's the government controlling them. And then, you know, just the, the friendly neighborhood neo-Nazi uh, had uh, some people, yeah, they were protesting. I guess he was one of the main organizers. I was really thrown off at first because he was just talking about, you know, how white people are persecuted. And I was like, oh, this must be an anti-lockdown group because there's people complaining about not getting haircuts and how white people are persecuted. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> also helped uh, with a little bit of fun irony Irony to make, make me enjoy it even more was that they were doing this whole thing outside of Science World. And I feel like that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. Um, this has been The Happy Hour. I'm Nathan Bowman. I just want to do one last shout out to the beer that I'm drinking. I'm pretty sure I talked about it earlier, but it's from Strangefellows Brewing, which is uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. It's the uh, Hedgerow, the Wild Cherry, nope, Sour Cherry Wild Ale. Nailed it that time. It's a limited release, and it is delicious. Anyway, I've enjoyed talking for the past 50, nope, 12 minutes. I can't read. And who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll see you again. Maybe I get sick of hearing my voice. But that's, that's it, guys. See ya. Nope, nope.